Playing with Power MTG. Powerful cards, powerful formats. Before we get into tonight's game, I wanted to ask a question. Do you have extra cards lying around that you don't use? Want to buy or trade for some extra cards but don't know how to maximize the value? Then you should try out today's sponsor, Card Conduit. Card Conduit is the best service when it comes to selling your extra cards. Don't waste hours trying to find the best buy list price for your cards online. Simply send them to Card Conduit and let them take care of the rest. I have used Card Conduit multiple times already. I always use them to get the best value for my extra cards. I get fair prices for my cards and they save me tons of time. They have three main services. Their standard service lets you send them your unsorted cards of any value. They will sort, grade, and give you the best price for your cards. Their curated service is similar. Send them your unsorted cards worth over a dollar in value. They will charge half the fee of the standard service and charge no fee per card. Their sorted service is a great value as well. Choose cards in advance with their selection tool, send them sorted to Card Conduit, and they will grade and buy list them automatically. Save yourself the time of having to send to multiple sites and let Card Conduit do it instead. Their fee is only 2% with no fee per card. They give you the best price for your cards. They work with competitive buy listing partners, including ones not open to the public. Users get an average of 19% more for their collection than they would from any major retail buy list, even with Card Conduit's fees. Card Conduit also optimizes buy listing for card condition as well. Since vendors have different penalties for wear and tear, Card Conduit will find the best buy list priced against the specific condition of the card. So give Card Conduit a try today. If you sign up with my link in the description below or use the promo code POWER, you will also get 10% off of their fees when you use their service. A big thanks to Card Conduit for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's start out by showcasing our fighters this evening. First, we have Charles, piloting the partner pair of Yoshimaru Ever Faithful and Kalith, Sun Main Familiar. This is a stacks deck that aims to beat down its opponents with a giant dog while disrupting the opponents along the way. Charles' opening hand contains five snow-covered planes, Deafening Silence, and Myrel, Shirl of Argive. Next, we have Sean, piloting the partner pair of Thrasios Triton Hero and Bruce Taro, Boorish Herder. This deck, called Dawn Waker Thrasios, tries to draw a lot of cards and control the board before winning with a myriad of infinite mana combos to draw its stack. Sean's opening hand contains a Sylvan Library, Dreadeth Magistrate, Dispel, Savannah, Eternal Witness, Mana Confluence, and a Springleaf Drum. After that, we have Zack, piloting the partner pair of Timna the Weaver and Krom, Ludovic Sopus. This deck, nicknamed Blue Farm, uses its commanders to gain card advantage before winning with Underworld Breach or Thassa's Oracle. Zack's opening hand contains a Lion's Eye Diamond, Mox Diamond, Mental Misstep, Ottawara Soaring City, Arid Mesa, Gamble, and his London Mulligan is a Mox Opal. Finally, we have Cal, piloting Prosper, Tomebound. This is a mid-range deck that relies on Prosper to draw cards and create treasures before winning with Dockside Extortionist combos. Cal's opening hand contains a Luxury Suite, Skirt Prospector, Magda Brazen Outlaw, Grinding Station, Diabolic Intent, and his London Mulligans are Lightning Bolt and Florian Voldarian Scion. Without further ado, let's kick off this magnificent manifestation of mischievous merriment. Charles wins the arm wrestling match and gets to start us off. Charles draws a card for turn and places snow-covered planes. He casts a Deafening Silence. In response, Zack pays two life to cast Mental Misstep, countering Deafening Silence. Charles passes the turn. Sean draws and plays a Savannah. He casts a Springleaf Drum. He ships the turn to Zack. Zack draws and plays an Arid Mesa. He casts Mox Diamond, discarding Ottawara, Soaring City. He cracks his Arid Mesa, pays a life, and fetches up a Volcanic Island onto the battlefield. He casts Gamble. He fetches up a card into his hand and then randomly discards a Time Twister. He casts Mystic Remora. He casts a Lion's Eye Diamond. With nothing else, Zack ends his turn. Cal draws and plays a Luxury Suite. He casts a Skirk Prospector. Cal passes. Charles draws and plays a Snow-Covered Plains. He casts Sarah Ascendant. He casts his commander, Yoshimaru Ever Faithful. He ships his turn. Sean draws and plays a Scalding Tarn. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Tropical Island onto the battlefield. He casts his commander, Thrasios Triton Hero. He ends the turn. During his upkeep, Zack pays for his Remora. He draws, casts a Mana Vault, and passes. Cal draws and plays a City of Traders. He sacrifices Skirk Prospector, adding a red. He casts his commander, Prosper Tomebound. Cal moves to his end step, Prosper triggers, and he exiles a Praetor's Grasp. He gives the turn to Charles. Charles draws and plays a Snow-Covered Plains. He casts Stony Silence. Mystic Remora triggers, and in response, Zack cracks his LED, discards his hand, and adds three black. Zack then draws from Remora. Still in response, Sean activates Springleaf Drum, tapping down his Thrasios, adding a blue. Then Stony Silence resolves, and Charles moves to combat. He attacks Cal with Sarah Ascendant and Sean with Yoshi. They both take it and Charles gains 6 life. All done, Charles ends his turn. Sean draws and plays a Mana Confluence. He casts Dranith Magistrate. He moves to combat and attacks Zack with Thrasios. Zack takes it and Sean passes. During his upkeep, Zack lets his Remora die. He draws and plays a Watery Grave into play tapped. He gives the turn to Cal. 
Cal draws and casts a grinding station. He plays a Badlands, sacrificing his city of traders. He casts Magda, Brazen Outlaw. He moves to his end step, Prosper triggers, and Cal exiles an Imperial Seal. Cal ships his turn. Charles draws and plays a snow covered plains. He casts Myrel, Shield of Argive. Yoshimaru triggers and gets a plus one plus one counter. He moves to combat and attacks Zack with Yoshi and Cal with Sarah Ascendant. They both take it and Charles gains six life. He passes to Sean. Sean draws and plays a City of Brass. He taps it and Mana Confluence to help cast his commander, Bruce Tarl, Boris Herder. Bruce triggers and Sean gives Thrasios lifelink and double strike until the end of turn. He moves to combat and attacks Zack with Thrasios. Zack takes two and Sean gains two. Sean ends his turn. Zack draws and plays a command tower. He casts a Windfall. Everyone discards their hand and draws five. Zack passes. Cal draws and plays a City of Brass. He taps it to help cast Necropotence. He moves to combat and attacks Zack with Magda. Magda triggers and Cal creates a treasure. Zack takes it and in his second main phase, Cal activates Necropotence eight times, paying eight life, exiling eight cards. He moves to his end step, putting the Necro cards into his hand. Prosper triggers and he exiles Bergy, God of Storytelling. Cal passes, discarding to hand size, exiling the discarded cards. Charles draws and plays a Snow-Covered Plains. He casts Path to Exile, targeting Prosper. Prosper is exiled, and Cal fetches up a Snow-Covered Swamp onto the battlefield tapped. Charles moves to combat and attacks Cal with Myrel and Zack with everything else. Myrel triggers, creating three soldiers. Then they both take it, and Charles gains six. In his second main phase, Charles casts a Vryn Wingmare. Charles gives the turn to Sean. Sean draws and plays an Arid Mesa. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Volcanic Island onto the battlefield. He moves to combat and attacks Charles with Bruise. Bruce triggers, giving himself double strike and lifelink. Charles takes six and Sean gains six life. In his second main phase, he taps his City of Brass and his Mana Confluence to cast Seedborn Muse. He ends his turn. Sean untaps with Zack through Seedborn. Zack draws and plays a Scalding Tarn. He does nothing else and passes. At the end of Zack's turn, Sean taps his Mana Confluence to activate Thrasios. He scries one and reveals a Lightning Bolt into his hand. The turn moves to Cal. Sean untaps with Cal through Seedborn. Cal skips his draw step due to Necropotence. He plays a Phyrexian Tower as his land for turn. He taps his City of Brass to cast Chandra, Torch of Defiance. In response, Sean taps his Mana Confluence to activate Thrasios. He scries one and reveals a swift reconfiguration into his hand. Chandra resolves and Cal activates her third ability, dealing four damage to Seedborn, killing it. Cal moves to combat and attacks Zack with Magda. Magda triggers, creating a treasure. Zack takes it and in his second main phase, Cal activates Necropotence two times, paying two life, exiling two cards. He moves to his end step and puts the exiled cards into his hand. Cal passes. Charles draws and plays a Snow-Covered Plains. He casts March of Otherworldly Light, where X equals 3, exiling Sean's Thrasios. He casts Cathar Commando. He moves to combat and attacks Zack with Sarah Ascendant, Myrel, Yoshi, and Wingmare, and attacks Chandra with a Soldier. Zack takes it all, and Chandra dies. Charles gives the turn to Sean. Sean draws and moves to combat. He attacks Charles with Bruce, giving itself lifelink and double strike. Charles blocks with a Soldier, and Sean gains 3. In his second main phase, he casts Finehorn Elves. He taps his City of Brass and Mana Confluence to recast his commander, Thrasios. Sean passes. At the end of Sean's turn, Zack cracks his Scalding Tarn, pays a life, and fetches up an underground sea onto the battlefield. Zack flashes in a Dress Down. It enters, he draws a card, and then the turn moves to Zack. Zack draws and plays a Flooded Strand. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Tundra onto the battlefield. He casts Chain of Vapor, targeting Stony Silence. Chain resolves, Stony Silence bounces, and Charles sacrifices a land, copying the chain, targeting Dress Down. Dress Down bounces, Zack sacks a land, continues the chain, targeting his Mana Vault. He floats mana from his rocks, then mana vault bounces. He sacks a land, copying the chain, bouncing Mox Diamond, and then decides to stop there. Zack recasts Dress Down. It enters and he draws a card. He recasts Mana Vault. He recasts Mox Diamond, discarding City of Brass. He casts Silence. In response, Sean casts Lightning Bolt, targeting Zack. Zack takes three and Silence resolves. Zack exiles Simeon Spirit Guide from his hand, adding a red. He casts Demonic Tutor, fetching up a card into his hand. He casts an Underworld Breach. He escapes Lion's Eye Diamond from his graveyard since Dranith is shut off through Dress Down. He cracks it, discards his hand, and adds three blue. He escapes Gamble. He fetches up a card into his hand and then randomly discards a Brain Freeze. He escapes Brain Freeze with all copies targeting himself. He mills 24 cards. He demonstrates a loop of using LED to escape Brain Freeze, milling his entire library. He escapes Thassa's Oracle. He holds priority and escapes Swords to Plowshares, exiling Dranith. He then escapes Chain of Vapor, targeting his Dress Down. Dress Down bounces, then Thassa's Oracle resolves, and Zack wins the game. What a skillful win from Zack. The team wanted vengeance, so they win again. In this game, Sean brings back Thrasios, Triton Hero, and Bruce Tarl, Boris Herder, and his opening hand contains the Soul Ring, Mental Misstep, Tundra, Enlightened Tutor, Cyclonic Rift, Flooded Strand, and an Ottawara, Soaring City. Zack brings back Timna the Weaver and Krom Ludovic's Opus, and his opening hand contains the Force of Will, Arid Mesa, Ranger Captain of Eos, Grim Tutor, Arcane Signet, Ancient Tomb, and a Dark Ritual. 
Cal brings back Prosper, Tomebound, and his opening hand contains a Mana Crypt, Reanimate, Urborg, Tomb of Yawgmoth, Vernon Catacombs, Underworld Breach, Culling the Weak, and his London Mulligan is a Marsh Flats. Charles brings back Yoshimaru, Ever Faithful, and Kellet's Sun Main Familiar, and his opening hand contains a Snow Covered Plains, Iganjo Castle, Sarah Ascendant, Dranath Magistrate, Blind Obedience, Null Rod, and a Solitude. And Sean gets to start us off. Sean draws and plays a Tundra. He casts a Soul Ring and passes. Zack draws and plays an Ancient Tomb. He taps it to help cast an Arcane Signet. He ships the turn to Cal. Cal draws and plays a Snow Covered Swamp. He casts a Mana Crypt and ends his turn. Charles draws and plays a Snow Covered Plains. He casts his Commander, Yoshimaru, Ever Faithful. He gives the turn to Sean. During his upkeep, Sean casts an Enlightened Tutor. He fetches up a Rhystic Study onto the top of his library. He draws and plays a Flooded Strand. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Tropical Island onto the battlefield. He casts Rhystic Study. He ends the turn. Zack draws and plays an Arid Mesa. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Scrubland onto the battlefield. He taps his Ancient Tomb to cast Ranger Captain of Eos, paying for Rhystic. Ranger Captain enters, and Zack fetches up an Esper Sentinel into his hand. He passes to Cal. During his upkeep, Cal loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes 3 damage. He draws and plays a Verdict Catacombs. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Badlands onto the battlefield. He casts his Commander, Prosper, Tomebound, and Sean draws through Rhystic. Cal moves to his end step, Prosper triggers, and Cal exiles a Jewel Lotus. Cal ships the turn. Charles draws and plays in a Ganjo Castle. Yoshimaru triggers and gets a plus one plus one counter. Charles moves to combat and attacks Sean with Yoshi. Sean takes it, and in his second main phase, Charles casts Dranith Magistrate. Rhystic triggers and Sean draws. Charles passes. Sean draws and plays a Taiga. He casts Finale of Devastation where X equals 3. He fetches up a Ranger Captain of Eos onto the battlefield. Ranger Captain enters and Sean fetches up an Esper Sentinel into his hand. He gives the turn to Zack. Zack draws and casts Esper Sentinel. Rhystic triggers and Zack taps his Ancient Tomb to pay for it. In response, Sean pays 2 life to cast Mental Misstep, countering Esper Sentinel. Zack ends his turn. During his upkeep, Cal wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and plays an Urborg, Tomb of Yawgmoth. He casts Dothy Voidwalker, paying for Rhystic. Cal moves to his end step, Prosper triggers, and Cal exiles Magda, Brazen Outlaw. Cal ships the turn to Charles. Charles draws and plays a Gaia Reach Sanitarium. Yoshimaru triggers and gets a counter. He moves to combat and attacks Sean with Yoshi. Sean takes it, and in his second main phase, Charles casts a Null Rod, paying for Rhystic. The table sighs, and Charles gives the turn to Sean. Sean draws and plays a Hallowed Fountain into play untapped, paying 2 life. He casts Esper Sentinel. He moves to combat, attacking Charles with Ranger Captain. Charles takes it, and Sean passes. Zack draws and casts Dark Ritual. Rhystic and Esper trigger, and Zack taps his Ancient Doom to pay for both. Zack adds 3 black, and Dark Ritual is exiled under Dothy with a Void Counter. He casts a Grim Tutor, and Sean draws through Rhystic. He fetches up a card into his hand, loses 3 life, and Grim Tutor is exiled under Dothy. He gives the turn to Cal. During his upkeep, Cal loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes 3 damage. He draws and casts Culling the Weak, sacrificing Dothy as an additional cost. Cal pays for Rhystic, and Sean draws through Esper. He adds 4 black. He casts Baleful Mastery for its alternate cost, targeting Dranith, paying the Rhystic tax. Dranith is exiled, and Charles draws through Mastery. Next, Cal casts Magda, Brazen Outlaw through Prosper. Prosper triggers, and Cal creates a treasure. Cal moves to his end step, Prosper triggers, and Cal exiles the Thought Seize. He ends his turn. Charles draws and plays a Snow Covered Plains. He moves to combat and attacks Sean with Yoshimaru. Sean takes it, and in his second main phase, Charles casts March of Otherworldly Light, exiling a white card, targeting Rhystic, paying for Rhystic, and Esper. In response, Sean casts Soul Partition, targeting his own Rhystic study. Rhystic is exiled, and March fizzles. Charles passes. At the end of Charles' turn, Sean casts Lightning Bolt, targeting Zack's Ranger Captain. In response, Zack sacks his Ranger Captain, locking out his opponents from non-creature spells this turn. Bolt fizzles, and Charles passes the turn. Sean draws and plays an Exotic Orchard. He casts Rhystic Study from Exile through Soul Partition. He moves the combat and attacks Charles with Ranger Captain. Charles takes the hit, and Sean gives the turn to Zack. Zack draws and pays 2 life to cast a Taxi and Probe, targeting Sean. Esper and Rhystic trigger, and Sean draws 2. Then Zack looks at Sean's hand and draws a card. Zack taps his Ancient Tomb to cast Toxic Deluge where X equals 4, paying 4 life. Rhystic triggers, and Sean draws. In response, Sean sacks his Ranger Captain, locking out opponents from non-creature spells this turn. Then all creatures get minus 4, minus 4, wiping the board. With the board now cleared, Zack passes to Cal. During his upkeep, Cal wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and plays a Snow-Covered Mountain. He casts Reanimate, targeting Esper Sentinel and paying the Rhystic tax. Esper enters and Cal loses a life. He casts Thoughtseize, targeting Sean, paying for Rhystic. Sean reveals his hand and discards Eladomri's Call, and Cal loses two life. Cal ships the turn. Charles draws and plays a Snow-Covered Plains. He casts Sarah Ascendant, paying for Rhystic. He casts his Commander, Keleth, Sun Main Familiar, paying for Rhystic again. He ends his turn. Sean draws and plays a Breeding Pool into play untapped, paying two life. He casts his Commander, Thrasios, Triton Hero. He ships the turn. Zack draws, takes no actions, and passes. During his upkeep, Cal loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes 3 damage. He draws and plays a Gemstone Caverns. He moves to combat and attacks Zack with Esper Sentinel. 
Zack takes it, and Cal ends his turn. Charles draws and plays a War Room. He attacks Sean with Sarah Ascendant and Zack with Kalith. Kalith triggers, and Charles puts a 1 1 counter onto itself. Both players take it, and Charles gains 6. In the second main phase, he recasts Yoshimaru, paying for Ristic. Charles passes. At the end of Charles' turn, Sean activates Thrasios. He scries one and reveals an Aven Mind Sensor into his hand. The turn moves to Sean. Sean draws and plays a Wooded Foothills. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Volcanic Island onto the battlefield. He casts a Mystic Remora, and Cal draws through Sentinel. Sean gives the turn to Zack. Zack draws, takes no actions, and passes, discarding to hand size. During his upkeep, Cal loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes 3 damage. He draws and plays a Command Tower. He recasts his Commander, Prosper, and Sean draws through Ristic. Cal moves to his end step, Prosper triggers, and Cal exiles Sensei's Divining Top. The turn moves to Charles. Charles draws and moves to combat. He attacks Sean with Kalith and the Ascendant and Zack with Yoshi. Kalith triggers and gets a plus one plus one counter. Both players declare no blocks and, in response, Charles flashes in a Sagarda's Vanguard, Pain for Ristic. In response, Sean casts Delay, Pain for Esper. Vanguard is countered and exiled with three time counters on it. Then they all take it and Charles gains six life. Charles passes. At the end of Charles' turn, Sean casts Intuition targeting Zack. He fetches up a Devoted Druid, Swift Reconfiguration, and Sabine's Reclamation. Zack gives him the Devoted Druid, and the turn moves to Sean. During his upkeep, Sean lets his Remora die. He draws and plays an Emergence Zone. He casts Wargate, where X equals 5, and Cal draws through Esper. In response, Zack casts Force of Will, paying a life and exiling a blue card, targeting Wargate. Esper and Ristic trigger, and Zack taps his Ancient Tomb to pay for Ristic. Cal draws through Esper, and then Force of Will resolves, countering Wargate. Sean moves through his steps and phases, and in response, Zack casts Enlightened Tutor, paying for Ristic. He fetches up a Lion's Eye Diamond onto the top of his library. Sean gives the turn to Zack. Zack draws and casts a Lion's Eye Diamond, paying for Ristic and Esper. He ends his turn. During his upkeep, Cal loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes 3 damage. He draws and casts Sensei's Divining Top from Exile through Prosper. Prosper and Ristic trigger, Sean draws, and Cal creates a treasure. Next, Cal casts a Braid, targeting Null Rod, and Sean draws through Ristic. Null Rod is destroyed, and then Cal casts Diabolic Intent, sacrificing Esper Sentinel as an additional cost. Ristic triggers, and Sean draws. Cal fetches up a card into his hand. He casts Grinding Station, paying for Ristic. He plays a Blood Crypt, into play Untapped, paying 2 life. He casts Underworld Breach, and Sean draws. In response, Charles evokes Solitude, exiling a white card. Ristic triggers, and Sean draws again. Solitude enters, and exiles Prosper, then Charles sacrifices Solitude. Still in response to Breach, Zack casts Silence, paying for Ristic. In response, Cal casts Reign of Filth, and Sean draws. He sacrifices Gemstone Caverns through Reign of Filth, adding a black. He activates his top, looking at and rearranging the top three. He sacrifices a Snow-Covered Mountain to cast in Tomb. Sean draws through Ristic, and then Cal fetches up a Dockside Extortionist into his graveyard. He sacks a Snow-Covered Swamp, adds a black, and spends his top again. With no other responses, Silence resolves, and a very sad Underworld Breach resolves. Unable to cast any spells, Cal moves to his end step, sacrificing Underworld Breach. During his upkeep, Charles removes a time counter from Sagarda's Vanguard. He draws and casts Umizawa's Jite. Yoshimaru and Ristic trigger, Sean draws, and Yoshimaru gets a counter. Charles equips Jite to Yoshi. He attacks Sean with everything, triggering Kalith, giving itself a counter. Sean takes it all, dies, and Charles gains six. Jite triggers and gets two counters. In his second main phase, he casts Sanctifier in Vec. Sanctifier resolves, exiling all black and red cards in graveyards. He passes to Zack. Zack draws and casts Rite of Flame, adding two red. He taps his Ancient Tomb to help cast Underworld Breach. He casts Demonic Consultation. He holds priority and sacrifices Lion's Eye Diamond, discards his hand, and adds three blue. Consult resolves, and Zack names Brain Freeze. He exiles the top six, and then exiles until he finds Brain Freeze, putting it into his hand. He casts Brain Freeze with all copies targeting himself. He mills 12 cards. He escapes LED. He escapes Brain Freeze, targeting himself again. He mills 21 cards. He sacks his LED, adding 3 blue. He escapes LED and sacks it, adding 3 white. He escapes Silence, locking out his opponents this turn. He escapes Brain Freeze, milling the rest of his library. He escapes Thassa's Oracle. Oracle enters, triggers, and Zack wins the game. Ladies and gentlemen, what a great set of games tonight. Congrats to Zack on both of his wins. In Game 1, Zack let Charles and Sean fight each other, thinking he was locked under the stacks pieces before removing him himself and going for a win while their shields were down. In Game 2, Sean got off to an early lead with both Esper and Ristic drawing him cards, but he was under a lot of pressure from Charles and had to go for an early win that Zack eventually countered. Once Cal's win was stopped and Sean died, Zack was able to swoop in and steal the game. The most valuable card in tonight's game, sponsored by Luxury Playstyle, goes to Silence. This card was able to both stop win attempts and ensure win attempts in tonight's games. It's a very unassuming card, but also very powerful. Players leaving one wide open can spell the end of a game when someone is trying to win, and we saw that happen this evening. 
Well, that about wraps it up for this episode. Tune in next time and we duke it out to see who will be king of the competitive EDH table. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.